So it's February in uh, central Pennsylvania, and uh, we've gotten a little bit of a reprieve from the terrible weather that we normally have. It's actually pretty nice today, about 40 degrees. And, um, you know, through plowing snow and, and my kids ripping around on their ATVs, um, we have a really long stone driveway. And um, it has basically all the stones are now in the grass. So uh, this is normally not my wheelhouse to do videos, but um, I have a new camera that I'm playing around with that I wanted to test out and a little bit of uh, new audio uh, capture capability here. And I figured, well, I need to do some work. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone. And um, so today, uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at the um, Echo. It's an Echo PAS 266. And um, I bought this, I, I spent about $300 on it and uh, purchased it with the uh, weed eater, um, uh, basically as a weed eater kit. Um, but that's not really what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is, is this guy right here. So I'm going to show you how to switch it over. It's, it's Echo's Power Broom. And honestly, this is one of those purchases where I was like, eh, I don't know. Um, is this tool actually even worth it? And um, let me try something here. Is this tool actually even worth it? And uh, I, the thing, the job that I hate worse than anything is, is raking stones, uh, especially stones that get raked onto the driveway and five minutes later they're back in the grass. Absolutely hate it. So um, that particular uh, accessory was, I think it was around $300 um, is what the retail is. Uh, I worked through my local, um, my local Echo dealer, who's also a Kubota dealer. A little shout out to CH Waltz. Those guys are awesome. And they hooked me up. They definitely knocked some money off of the, the whole kit because I bought it as a, as, a, as a package. I don't remember exactly what I paid for, but that has been amazing. You know, we have, we have a lot of property that we weed eat and, um, and that's been great. But honestly, you know, you could do the same with a cheap old weed eater. Um, it's that power broom accessory that's pretty impressive. And um, you definitely need a, need a power head that has enough power to actually make that all um, worthwhile uh, and have, have enough power to actually turn that. It is gear, gear reduced um, so that it does work um, uh, properly, um, but you still need a power head that has enough, enough power to actually turn that. So um, I'm filming myself today. I'm gonna try and, and set this up and, and give you guys as good of an opportunity uh, to look at this as, uh, as, um, as I can. And um, you know, at the end of the day, um, if you're in the same shoes that I am, where you're <laughs> just trying to make your life a little easier, uh, it's, it's a really good piece of machinery. So here we go. So my plan is to make my life a little easier here. And um, so I'm going to show you how to disconnect the weed eater and actually connect the power broom. Um, it, it's kind of, you know, kind of funny uh, to have it with the GoPro here. I'm sure everybody who weed eats has a GoPro on their weed eater, but you know, what can I say? Um, that's what we have, so that's what we're gonna do. So all you have to do is um, loosen this, this little clamp, and there's a little button you have to pull out here that removes this guy. And I'm just gonna put my power broom in here, line this thing up, give it a little wiggle until that seats, and there we have it. So. We're going to fire this thing up and, and take it for a rip.
So I'm a little out of breath, but I'm not sure if you can see what we did here. Um, it's pretty darn incredible. And uh, this is literally like two minutes worth of work to get to this point. So it's not perfect. Uh, you have to go back and redo a couple of spots. And keep in mind, this stuff here has probably been run over by an ATV like a hundred times. Um, so it's pushed into the ground a little bit. So once you get them so they're not so buried into the ground, um, it'll push this stuff right up. Watch this.
Whew. So don't kid yourself. If you've been uh, sitting on the couch eating potato chips uh, and drinking beer all winter, I mean, not me, but if you are, um, you're going to feel it. Uh, this is definitely um, still a workout. Um, you know, there, it, you're, you're moving stone, so stone's pretty heavy. And uh, the reality of it is it's still definitely a workout. It's, it's awesome. Though. It feels good to be out and, and about uh, in February instead of cooped up in the house. A couple of things that I wanted to mention. I'm not sure if you noticed, but at one point uh, I turned the... Um, the unit, the echo unit upside down. And when you hold it upright, it'll push the stones. If you flip it upside down, you can pull all the stones towards you. So um, that, that works really, really well. I was in a spot where I kept sliding, uh, kind of slippery over there. So I kept sliding and I had a whole bunch of stones that I was trying to pull up to the top. And um, that method works really well. Uh, you'll, get, you'll get dirt on your shoes, but hey, it is what it is. So um, I have a good bit of other stone here that I'm gonna move uh, all the way up my driveway of about uh, 300 more feet to go. And um, I think I ought to be able to get that done in the next 10 or 15 minutes. That part's not too bad, um, but... Uh So at the end of the day, um, you know, I don't know that the that the Echo uh, 266 with the power broom is, is the most perfect um, tool. You know, I think there are some things that it could definitely do a little better. Um, but, at, you know, honestly, for me, at the end of the day, uh, to me, the question that, that I ask myself is, is it better than shoveling and is it better than raking? And the answer to the both of those is 100% absolutely. Um, it, it is much better than both of those. It's, it's faster, it's easier, uh, it does a better job. Uh, I'm not as agitated. Uh, I don't have the time to be doing it to begin with, so I'm looking to, to get this job done as fast as I possibly can, uh, as best as I possibly can. And um, this particular set of tools is, is perfect for my needs. Um, it's a little expensive on the $550 to $600 range, but if you factor it in for, um, you know, probably gonna last 10 years, maybe more, um, for 50 bucks a year, um, perfect. You know, I'll, I'll take that every day of the week. Please make sure that you guys subscribe. Um, 
ask us some, some questions in, in the comments section. I'm, I'm happy to answer them and uh, we'll catch you with our next video.